All right, so I heard you guys might need a hand on uh, studying this model. Um, so first things first, uh, we're going to be looking at, it's not that complicated. I'm just going to remove this first. Uh, these two muscles that you see here, right, on the most um, outside, these two muscles are going to be your abductor, ABD. So you have your abductor pollicis brevis, and then you have your abductor digiti minima, okay? The ones more um, inside, interior, uh, you have your, this one would be your flexors. So flexor pollicis brevis, and then flexor digiti minima. Real simple. You remove these two muscles, and underneath them both are going to be your opponent's muscle. So opponent's pollicis muscle, and your opponent's digiti minima, uh, minimi muscle. The difference between the, the thumb and the pinky is that the thumb actually has this muscle called the adductor ADD pollicis, and it has two heads. So this head that's going like this would be a transverse head, and the one underneath would be your oblique head. So these three, you'll see here, one, two, well, it looks like four, one, two, three, four. That's from your transverse head. And two underneath right here would be your uh, oblique heads. Uh, the lumbricose is this piece that I removed earlier. That's going to be your lumbricose. There should be four lumbricose. All right. And underneath that would be your palmar interosi. Okay. There should be three, sometimes four, but here you'll see three palmar interosi. Flip this around. You're going to see your dorsal interosi. So one, two, three. And there should be a fourth one, which might be somewhere in there. Um, the retinaculums, you have your extensor retinaculum because this is on your extension, you're extending your hand. So this is your extensor retinaculum. And your anterior forearm, this would have uh, the flexor retinaculum. And that's it, folks.